Hi, it's Bill Horman with Epic Homes Real Estate and in Real Estate Table Talk today, we continue our discussion on how homeowners sometimes inadvertently destroy the value of their homes. In the first two episodes, we discussed not maintaining your property, the roof, the HVAC system, maybe leaks in the home. And day two, we discussed over-personalizing your property. Well, this third installment addresses curb appeal. We all know that the visual is the first impression that people have. You can't get past that first impression. If you if it's a mess, people are going to internalize that and believe, well, if the outside is, the, is a mess, the inside is going to be a mess as well. What constitutes a mess? Well, you can see the picture behind me. Overgrown bushes, trees that need to be cut back, just an unappealing front to your home. Uh, for instance, you might have a bad lawn. There might be chipped paint that should be scraped off and repainted. You might have rotted wood on the outside. Uh, you, you might just have dirt everywhere, just nothing that's really appealing to your home. Some people will do some yard work and then leave the yard waste out there. It's just not appealing to a potential buyer. They're going to look at that home. And if they're interested in going inside and like what they see there, they're still going to remember that outside and all the upkeep they're going to have to make and they'll lowball an offer. And that's not what you want. You're destroying your home's value by not keeping up the outside. You can drive through any neighborhood and you'll see some neighbors that are tip top on their lawn and others who rarely cut it. And there's clumps of dirt and there's lots of weeds and there's chipped paint and bushes that are over. You get the idea. Trim it up, paint it up, clean it up. And chances are you're buyers will bid up the price. So curb appeal is the third way you can destroy your home's value or lack of curb appeal. I'm Bill Horman with Epic Homes Real Estate. If you're thinking of buying or selling a home, just give me a call. Let's chat about your situation and then let's get you moving.